with Bo down here at Ravens Keep Forge. And uh, now that we're done with the uh, 40 days and nights of, of rain uh, or snow or all that kind of stuff uh, been going on here. Uh, it's actually a really nice day. Got some good wind, so hopefully it'll dry out a little bit because it's... <laughs> Uh, we just finished ha having the uh, wettest uh, year on record, so <laughs> it's been kind of nuts. Anyway, so I'm going to get back to uh, doing some work on the forge area. Uh, one of the things that I wanted to do is put together a work uh, table. Uh, I have a bench uh, that a bench has to find us to sit down on versus a table to work on. Um, and I'm... <sighs> when we moved in here uh, a, a while back... Uh, this place has been kind of neglected and a lot of people would bring their unwanted items <laughs> over um and, and at first it was very discouraging uh it, it was it was saddening uh it still is sad you know that people would just trash plus places right but i have kind of turned that into a little bit of a positive because i'm, I'm looking at it as you know i've got my own personal hardware store now because pretty much whatever i need i can kind of go wander around through it and voila there it is uh so i'm going to end up using some of that uh in fact i'm going to use that not some of it i'm going to use all of it to, to create my workbench and um kind of, i'm at the point where i really kind of need one uh being that this is going to be a permanent position, you know, I'm starting to really kind of add to it versus most of my stuff has been uh, fairly temporary uh, as far as having it because I've moved a lot and then with doing shows, but I've ended up uh, acquiring enough other material to where I can uh, have my show stuff and then now I can have my work stuff. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked about that. Uh, let me show you kind of what I'm looking at. I'm going to kind of stop it and flip it around um, and kind of show you the area that I'm looking to do. and. Then we'll look at uh, the material I'm going to be using, <laughs> where I've got to go get it. Um, and then we'll look at, uh, you know, my completed uh, uh, project. I'm, I'm sure it, uh, I'm not a carpenter, all right? Um, so uh, don't take points off, you know. But I always kind of look at, you know, the whole thought of this with being a, uh, a, a primitive, the uh, way I look at it, primitive blacksmith, since I do use a wood-fired forge, um, earthen forge. I've just kind of got it in, in, in a tub is I always trying to look at ways to create what I have, right? Not go out and buy stuff. I always, it's not so much I'm doing stuff on the, on the cheap. I just want to be, you know, creative. I want to use what is already provided for me as much as possible and try to make things work, you, you know? And it might not be just perfect and as good as the, you know, uh, what can be bought or using brand new stuff, but I'm, I'm, I'm repurposing. Uh, which is kind of one of my definitions of, of primitive is being able to take something that someone else no longer wants, right? And using that to create something of, you know, of value out of it and, and uh, repurpose and recycling what it, whatever terms that you want to use. But I'm very proud uh, to be able to do that. Um, so anyway, uh, let me flip it around. I'll show you kind of the area that I'm looking at. Then we'll go look at my, um, my hardware store. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then we'll look at, uh, you know, I'll come back to you and show you the finished project. All right, so this is the area that I'm looking at, at, at doing. Um, I've got my, obviously my anvil, I've got my forge, um, and being able to use this area here as my workbench, so it's kind of giving me a little bit of a triangle area. Uh, I usually keep my wood here because it's kind of close by, obviously, to kind of keep feeding the forge. Um, so I'm looking at putting a, a work table, you know, right here. Uh, right now, this is kind of what I'm using. Uh, it's kind of my bench area. Uh, wood nice to be able to, to do this, uh, being able to do standing versus sitting sometimes. So I'm looking at trying to put something in right in here, um, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, you're kind of doing it as I'm doing it. So um, we'll take a look at my um, hardware store next, and uh, we'll see what we come up with. My, my hardware store, um, you, you can see it's pretty tragic, really. You know, I can't believe that people... Um, do this and they just uh, dump stuff but you know what I'm going to turn it to my advantage and I'm going to use this there's a lot of treated lumber down in here um, pull it out and see what I can make out of it see so not a lot of nice lag bolts that I can use uh, in my forging uh, and we'll um, we'll see what we can pull out of here and see what I can use and um, <laughs> we'll catch you on the next stop, next bit looks like there was a swing set down there and some decking um 
I didn't even make a dent. I mean, if you can see it down there, uh, I'm getting ready to start taking some of this apart. I'm going to go change clothes first because you, if you notice right there, there's a nice uh, little bit of sister ivy right there. And I, I know she's kind of protecting the area and I want to honor that. And at the same time, I don't want it all over me. So um, I'm going to see what I can put together with this. I'm sure I can come up with something. And then uh, we'll see what the finished product looks like. Well, I didn't get it finished up yesterday, but got it finished today. I think it looks rather nice. Uh, I've got it about three feet high and roughly about five feet wide. It's about two feet deep, a little over two feet deep. Got a second shelf there just to kind of store stuff, and there's plenty of clearance for my wood box. Um, not bad since I just pulled it all out of the out of the ditch, basically. People throwing stuff away. Can't believe it. Anyway, I think it's going to work out real well, but we're going to be able to mount my grinder on one end and a vise on the other. Uh, even reuse the lag bolts <laughs> that I was using to pull out of that swing set. All right, well, that's, that's that project, and we're off to the next one. Hope you all have a good one. Thanks.